All right, everyone. Uh, it is me, Johnson Chan. Had like an okay sleep last night. I mean, I went to bed early. The problem is, my f I finally found out where all the smoking comes from. It's from my stupid fucking next door neighbor, and that's right next to me, but behind the wall, the wall behind me. Because the baseboards at the bottom of the wall are like done shitty by basically illegal immigrant uh, labor. Right, there are gaps there, so. You know, the fucking cigarette smoke comes underneath my shit, and then it's like, oh, I have to cough out phlegm just to get rid of the stupid fuck. I really hate cigarettes, you know, and, and it just pisses me off that we can, we can never actually get rid of them. And it annoys me even more because we, we have electronic cigarettes, which are a vastly superior option, and there's no secondhand smoke. It's just this secondhand vapor. Oh, wow, it's, it's just flavored uh, air <laughs> and water. You know, that, that, that's like, ah, uh, you know. Uh, it's like, you know, when, when the boomers die off, hopefully it'll take the damp cigarettes with them, too. Because it seems to be a big boomer thing. But anyway. Uh, but anyway, I had to blow a fan away, keep the door open, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I woke up every couple hours. But, you know, I was at least able, still able to get some decent sleep, so. And then I had to take care of my video game stuff. And then uh, extra stuff. And then, you know, a lot of things going on. I didn't do it. I didn't do too much research, though. I'm still thinking about because I finished the book yesterday, the Everything Store yesterday. So one of the reasons that Jeff Bezos actually is as powerful as he is is he never had hatred towards his biological dad or his parents. He actually, and then his biological dad towards the end, of the, which is mentioned towards the end of the book, actually sought out Jeff Bezos, and he for, and he's like, oh yeah, I never had any issues with you. You know, you can rest easy. So basically, uh, he does he does what JLP would recommend, right? Forgive your parents. In Jeff Bezos' case, like, oh, yeah, yeah, I never had a problem with you. Yeah, don't worry about it, right? He essentially forgave his parents, but he never had a, any issues with them in the first place. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting. Oh, so, that being said, um, Bitcoin interest for this week has finally been released, and it's going up. It's now at 13. Uh, now that uh, the Bitcoin Halloween is coming, uh, it looks like, of course, Firefox being a piece of garbage thing, as it always is. All right, we're just going to have to refresh everything manually once more. Uh, I have it. And, uh, yeah, I because uh, Bitcoin halving is actually coming in approximately 11 days. I already checked uh, Bitcoin halving. I mean, there's even Google News results for it now. Usually this isn't here. Oh, God. Firefox plus using a proxy equals like really bad. <laughs> oh yeah, um, and I know I definitely tweeted it, but I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday, but Trump actually did an executive order to reopen the meat processing plants. And he said like they're not, because apparently the problem also had something to do with liability. So the work, so like the workers would sue the company, all right, because they get coronavirus and die from it, et cetera. So Trump seems to have done something to address that basically remove the liability due to the defense defense production at dpa um and then the unions that represent these meat packers or the groups or what are the workers uh they said well we need the gear so i, th I think you know which is fine you know right? obviously just give them the just give them the gear and then i think everybody will be fine because we really do need those plants up and running because again i went to target like what earlier this week on a tuesday today's wednesday right wow time flies Oh, and I got my Trump bucks, a full the full twelve hundred, so that was really nice. Um, yeah, the, the meat was gone. All the meat was gone. The only thing that was left, funny enough, was the one I wanted. Well, some of it was what I wanted the uh, the low fat chicken breast uh, good and gather bags. There was and there wasn't that many left, right? So I stocked up on that. So. Yeah, we kind of really need that thing to come back on. So, uh, so the meat shortage should be uh, should be dealt with. So it should be pretty good. So probably when I go back in like a couple weeks at least, right? Because I got so much food stocked up. Because I was like, oh man, you know, this meat shortage keeps getting worse. You know, I'm gonna need some protein. Yeah, you know. Uh, in the meantime, I'm being more aggressive about losing weight. So yesterday, I finally had like a I should have a calorie deficit of five minus five or four hundred calories yesterday. I'll see what I can do today since it's my off day. Um, cause I actually was eating these burritos, uh, really cheap, really good. No, no extra chemical, crazy stuff. Uh, unless you want to count a little bit of soy, I guess. Um, yeah, 310 calories though. And it just makes me hungrier, but it's really nice. So it's like, ah, uh, cause I, cause they don't have any of our fries, right? I don't, I'm not building that Aralda fries cause those are literally two times more expensive. 
than the uh, generic uh, target brand good and gather or or market pantry that's the one yeah so anyway we've got 12 days to go um oh i forgot to mention uh we're gonna be oh yeah we're gonna have to talk about the jmc coin 404 coin swap so we're gonna do a coin swap we're gonna be upgrading to a new wallet everything will stay the same in terms of branding so it's still gonna be 404 uh but we're doing more than just a hard uh hard fork we're actually up completely overhauling the code mitch is already working i actually talked to him yesterday so things are a little stable for him now better than before uh but as always like coronavirus has just been so disruptive and you know he lives in germany so germany has been no uh, has been no uh, different uh but they are reopening so hopefully things should uh, accelerate uh, so we're going to be swapping 404, and then if that goes well, which it should, then I'll have, and then of course I'll continue making money to, you know, come up with a swap fee for the JMC coin, and we're going to do it through Crex. We do have a free option, so, but I'm hoping a week after Bitcoin how I already closed it, after, a week after Bitcoin actually halves, right, and we'll see where Bitcoin is at, you know, we'll look at pricing of because uh because they uh, can i say it yeah i'm not going to say it but they they quoted me a relatively okay bitcoin price all right but it's still a you know hefty chunk of change but you know we'll do the swap through uh here obviously i'll let you guys know how the links uh i assume a lot of and then of course we'll update the the Bitcoin talk thread, blah, 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 blah. We'll, we'll announce it everywhere, right? Because we, because A, uh, we need to make sure that this wallet code is stable. Uh, I mean, Crex has been really good with 404 wallet lately, but uh, they, they've had pro many problems, as you already know, in the past because the wallet code is just obsolete, old, and shitty. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, we also need to destroy the supply. Uh, so we have a max supply of 1 million 404 coins. Uh, and then basically i forgot what i wrote but basically 404 percent for the first 75,000 blocks then from 75,000 to 150k it drops to 104 percent and then after block 150,000 it's 40.4 percent forever so basically we're going to turn 404 into the lower eight low apr but very high value stable coin all right so that's what we'll do with 404 and then with JMC coin, because we still need some kind of mid-range uh, option, right? Two by two coin currently is the high-end option, uh, but we'll have to ex we'll have to explore that after a couple of years and see what happens with that, right? Because you know supply eventually overtakes the price. Uh, JMC coin is just we're gonna destroy all the supply. Like you know, we told Mitch we're just gonna do like a hundred thousand coins. We're gonna blow up the entire supply. We'll reset the coin essentially, right? Give it the proper start it should always have had and then flat 200 percent apr very simple very good it'll just be like way up there right plus i want to try some experiments because it is named after myself right this was during the uh, height of the whole thing when this was before the griper war so i just never knew there was a such thing as a fake right right uh but then after yesterday i don't even want to talk about it but you know nick fuentes brought it up you know bill de blasio targeting a certain ethnic group to, for mass arrests and it came off really uh very nazi-like right so and then all and of course all the people were bashing china you know it was like this is a this is this is anti whatever that group is like well you didn't seem to have that concern you were bashing china so it's like you know, it's like so obviously i'm just pretty annoyed and mad but whatever you know i'll, I'll re-examine political stuff later for now i just want to try to get a, a keep my distance from it obviously uh, at least publicly obviously i still read it a lot in private right uh, and then i'll come up with a different solution later because uh, for now i still have to, I, I still have to digest you know, the everything store, everything that Jeff, I read about Jeff Bezos. You guys are a real enigma. Oh, I don't want to say enigma, but he could be a real asshole in terms of competition, but he is pretty nice to people too, like the same people that he's screwing over. So it's like, huh. and um, yeah, and it's amazing that he still could avoid antitrust uh, investigations. I mean, well, they they are being investigated for antitrust even back then, but you know, nothing happens to him. So it's like, what the hell? Uh, but yeah, anyway, so that's, so 4-4, I already said that, you can rewind it, and then JMC coin, destroy all the supply, um, uh, I'm thinking 100,000 coins max or something, we'll have a high fee too, uh, like 0 0.1 coin, 
to prevent spam, of course. Also, to also discourage people from just sending micro amounts, right? You know, I want people to actually like think about what they're doing, and then just flat two hundred percent APR, and then we'll then we'll easily take over the ni uh, niche niche the niche or whatever how you buy product that platinum bar coin has left behind. Right now there are 14 Satoshis of a Bitcoin and they're still 200% APR, but they run on shitty code. The developer doesn't even exist anymore. Uh, the the block explorers are down. So I mean, you got, then they contrast that with me, right? And you can see me, I'm obviously a real person. I do these, you know, crappy little YouTube videos that like two people see every day. So I mean, there's gonna be, a, so, so we're just gonna take this over. Cause this, used, this coin used to be worth like 100,000 Satoshis of Bitcoin or whatever. So we, I wanna make sure we go back to that. And then we capture it, right? And I especially get something because I haven't made any money in this. I haven't converted crypto into fiat in like a year and a half now, right? Now we're going to like 15 months or whatever. So hopefully this year we can actually make a change. Um, so, and then of course, you know, two by two coins been doing really well. So that's been keeping me afloat. I'm funny how 404 has also been keeping me afloat too because the price has been pretty stable. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty obvious that we're probably going to need to, uh, you know, upgrade the coin. All right. So, uh, so Mitch, we'll get to work on that. We'll see what happens. You know, it's definitely going to happen. Obviously I'll let you know, uh, I might do a separate video too, to announce and go over the changes, uh, which is more work, but you know, we'll see. In the meantime, Bitcoin and everything else has been going up as usual. However, it's taking a little pause. The spark lines are screwed up as always. So Bitcoin dominance is 65.6, 24 hour volume is 244.8 billion. So the people, so the investors are back. They're just buying everything up, which is good. That means more money in our pockets, basically. 88.36 for Bitcoin. Uh, it used to be at around 9,200. And then I guess last night too, when I woke up this morning, it dipped a little, right? Because again, it's, go, it's now going back to a fundamentals, right? Which means everything's going back up, the reopenings and the treatments and whatever. But now number two, um, whatchamacallit, it was supposed to be going up anyway because we were in the middle of a bull run before coronavirus hit us. So it's going to follow the same pattern, right? Up a lot, then de uh, then a dip, and then it goes back up again. Now, because Bitcoin's going to halve, there's going to be a significant amount of pressure on the supply because it's literally going by half. But the demand should remain the same. So at the very least, Bitcoin's supposed to be around 16,000, right? When Bitcoin was at 8,000, so just double it, you know? But we'll see what happens with sentiment, right? Because people really want to go out. They want to buy stuff. They want to, you know, they want to get out. So that's going to have a tremendous psychological impact, right? And all I know is, is it's just going to propel everything upwards. So, you know, it's just, that's why I'm not very hugely in a rush to spend any crypto because I know it's going to be going up like crazy. Litecoin's at 47.51, also had a slight dip. Again, ignore the spark lines on the right-hand side. It's completely off. Doggy coin still going up. It's basically a little under 313 million market cap. Uh, what's this with Bit Heroes? Uh, God, Congress has become so greedy lately too. Like they're they're. It's like, uh, so I'm definitely hoping that I will not do that. I want to make sure my free-to-play experience is uh, is vastly superior to everyone else. Uh, and then eventually, if Steam has a come on Steam ads, right? So you can monetize free games by playing in-game ads for other games on Steam, or even other companies. Funny enough, well, uh, well, I'll I'll do it, right? I'll take all the money, right? And I'll even allow people, you know, if like let's I don't know what I'll call, but let's just say you know Johnson Games. We're we're not calling it that, right? But um. You know, JunsonGames.com is just like the Epic Game Store or SteamPower.com, right? But the difference is my ads will allow you to go to play other people's games because I don't give a shit. Just give me your money, right? Because what I'm going to do is kind of basically what Amazon did to retail. I'm going to do the same thing to digital, except I'll just be more niche-like. Eventually, that does kind of might potentially cause a problem because that probably means Jeff Bezos is going to do the same thing to me like he did to Zappos diapers.com and all the others but i can worry about that later not to mention you know i've got some other tricks up my sleeve uh so i'm thinking that's probably where my political knowledge is going to come into play along with my crypto so we'll see uh oh and on top of that i'm actually willing to work with the governments collect the taxes as, as long as they don't you know as long as it's not over a huge hassle that's the problem it's a huge hassle 
Um, and number two, I'm going to have RMTs in my shit. All right? no, no game company in the world wants to do RMT. So, you know, he's going to have, uh, he's going to have a hard time because his greatest strength is he cares a lot about the customer. Well, the good news is I don't give a shit. All right? Now, I have to moderate that a little bit and do kind of care, but I want to do my own thing. I'm going to have a mission that's completely diametrically opposed to Jeff Bezos. So he's going to, so if he wants to actually do what I do, he's like, well, we just please everyone. That's not going to actually work, right? Because he's going to find that when he wants to try to make money, it's going to completely screw up not only the profit margins, but screw up his game. <laughs> so he's going to, he's going to have a lot more uh, to deal with, right? So that's, that's how, that's how you attack the problem. Dog coin, uh, 313. Uh, oh, I already read that. Uh, Hive. Uh, I love that Hive is finally on the front page. 43.65 cents. Uh, is that kind of similar to what it was yesterday? I don't know. Uh, Steam, 18.70 cents. I don't even remember what Steam was yesterday, but basically it's pretty much the same. I mean, it should be. So, yeah, so today everything's taking a dip because obviously everything was going up too much. Uh, the stock markets are the same thing. It's down 202 points. But it was literally just going up all the time. I mean, I even forgot to mention it because I was so focused on the meat shortages or any other stupid coronavirus crap. Uh, no, it's not after the jobless claims reports because it went up too much. So again, it goes up a lot and then it needs to dip a little. This isn't even much of a dip, but it is kind of early in the day too. I mean, look at that. Remel is already up to $3.14. I mean, and this stuff just prints itself. I mean, money just prints itself as long as it's not stupid... Uh, you know, UBS with their mandatory redemption clauses, right? Because as long as I don't have, as long as you're not forced to sell, then yeah, you can literally wait forever and then you just make a lot of money. You know, my shitty AMZA stock is now up to $19.14, so that's good. I'm still annoyed though that they're still paying shit for dividends, but I, know, I guess as things improve, you know, we'll see. Yeah, I'm, I still hate that they did the stock reverse split, you know? So now I can't do any more covered calls on it. Uh, this is not a democratic something. What? Uh, Facebook quarter one defies coronavirus. Yes, of course. Yeah, every, anybody that makes money mostly through online is going to do a lot. Oh yeah, and Skynet's taking over too. Um, let's see, I don't wanna play the video, but I know I tweeted it out. Uh, so here's the meatpacking executive order. Here's Trump explaining it. So I already did that. Uh, here's Prager U attacking white people. And then they also have a show that's showcasing Latinos in America, America called Americanos. So it's like, I'm just so sick and tired of like these hypocritical. It's like, oh, either you play identity politics and you're honest about it, or you just don't lie about it. But I mean, I can't say much more because I don't want to get banned off of YouTube, but. Yeah, it's all part of the same big globalist bullshit push to, uh, yeah, I mean, they they take money from the uncriticizable and unnameable uh, tribe or country, if you prefer. So, uh, yeah, so NVIDIA came out, because I saw Forsen play this video last night, and basically, at least, I'm not going to play the video, but let me see if I can get to the part where he's actually banging on the table. Yeah, he's gotta watch his uh... Uh, there was a thing by the leaf blower, where is it? Oh anyway, he's just banging on the table with a hammer and he's got a leaf blower blowing in Oh actually there it is, yeah. Without it turn on. There it is, the effects disabled. This is what it sounds like without NVIDIA RTX voice. Uh banging on the desk, typing on the keyboard, you'll hear some of the typing. But now if I'm typing on a mechanical keyboard, you're not gonna hear it nearly as much. It's actually really well filtered out. I can also disable the feature so you guys can see, this is what it would normally sound like if I was gaming with my mechanical keyboard. And I love, this is my Kinesis Gaming Freestyle Edge. I love this keyboard, by the way. Link in the video description if you wanna get one of these. It's honestly the only split keyboard I've used for like two years. Turn on the suppression and it'll come in right here in a second and boom. Now the suppression's enabled and you still get my voice and it pulls out a lot of that typing sound, a lot of that banging sound. It also filters out noises from phones, like getting messages and stuff like that and dings and dongs and all kinds of stuff. What I'm gonna do now is turn everything I can on, okay? So let's see, so I'm gonna have a leaf, I'm gonna have a fan. Let me turn on my fan here. I'm gonna turn on the leaf blower, okay? Yep, there's the leaf blower. Oh, I've got this. 
I got a leaf blower, a Dyson vacuum, and a fan on the floor. I'm gonna. He's got a vacuum cleaner on. <laughs> Enable the effect right now, so you guys can see what it does. Okay, the effect is enabling. Okay, right now this is RTX voice enabled. Well, I've got this running right here. I got a leaf blower. I got a vacuum cleaner. I got a Vornado fan and an air conditioner in the background. And I'm even gonna try talking normally like this. Can you guys hear my voice when I speak at a normal level? This is something I didn't try during the live stream. Look how close I have these things to this. If you guys can hear me at all, this is amazing. And that noise floor is actually pretty low. And over time, it's going to learn. They're going to train this better and better and better. And the more information it gets, the better it's going to get. Now, just to remind you of how bad it was before I enabled the filter. This is what it sounds like with everything running in the room right now. Here, let's add the hammer too for good measure. Let's just go full tilt. There, now we got the hammer, we got a leaf blower, we got a freaking vacuum cleaner and a tornado fan. This is really cool. It's not perfect. Yeah, it's only going to get better, all right? This is all artificial intelligence, the new R the NVIDIA RTX voice shit, all right? This is what's going to replace all humanity, okay? So all the dumb fucks going $15 an hour, $25 an hour, $30 an hour, all right? Well... Jeff Bezos is already on the front lines replacing all you assholes by creating robots. They actually even mentioned this, and the, and the, and the Everything Storybook was printed like October 2014, and, tr and not Trump, Jeff Bezos was already uh, doing, um, whatchamacallit, uh robotics so and then, and then and then ai i forgot i was talking to mitch yesterday too about ai and we we're talking about something else too so we're like there's gonna come a point where i'm not gonna have to hire that many people we're just gonna do uh ai shit the only people i would be working with would be like my music composer sound effects and you know basically creative people which is fine that's like the fun part right you know all this mundane stuff i mean hell it might even help with computer programming eventually which would be such a huge boom, right? Okay. In fact, we uh, one of the reasons why they're importing talent is because, uh, you know, basically immigration, uh, is because it's actually really hard to do programming, right? I know this firsthand, and I relearned it when I was trying to make my game, right? That's why I'm shifting to a tower defense, all right? I need something even easier, right? Because it's really hard. Right, and right now there's so much opportunity out there, but you need so many computer programmers. Which we they call them engineers for whatever, which essentially is that they are they're computer engineers, and they just need to get it from anybody they can, and and that's like is what's causing the tensions. Uh, Ford, uh, do I have Ford listed here? Oh, I might be interested in buying Ford. Uh, F. Oh, it, it won't even uh, it won't even play because it's uh, one letter. But I know their stock symbols F. Five dollars and seventeen cents. Oh, these poor idiots. Wow, they were going down even well before coronavirus. All right, well I'm not interested in Ford then. I want to speak for our annual meeting. Yeah, and this guy did literally nothing to bail us out. In fact, he scared his uh, employees from seized candy. He didn't even give them any coronavirus relief. Yeah. Uh, drop their hand. Seems the thing. Once you're rich, you can literally run the world, right? This asshole and Michael Bloomberg didn't do shit, and nobody won't want to cross them because you know, a he's got a lot of money, and b he could probably sue the shit out of you. That's been, unfortunately how 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 I how rich and powerful I have to get. So all these fake right assholes that are bashing China and you know disassociating themselves from me, right? Because I'm too much truth talk. Well, they're gonna regret that pretty soon. Well, not soon, but a long time from now. Okay, so I think Yahoo is wrong, because how is... Yeah, it's 88.72, it's going back up. Do I need to refresh this page again? Everything looks correct. Yeah, Yahoo... I mean, the cryptocurrency stuff is brand new. Yeah, there we go. Now it's... What is wrong? God, Yahoo. I don't know, maybe it might be a product Firefox, actually. Of course, it dropped during the Fort Loss. How many shortages could impact Americans? Zoom admits it doesn't have 300 million. I don't even use it, so I don't care. Pfizer aims for 10, 20 million doses of virus vaccine by whatever. Uh, let me see. What do we got? By the end of 2020, depending on the trials. And this is for the coronavirus vaccine. Okay. All right. Good enough. 
So JFC coins at seven to eight, but it looks like it's going up to nine. Uh, I might actually consider even buying some of this JMC too, but we'll have to see. Because uh, as everything goes up, uh, normally this would go down, but it's been pretty resilient. That's because we've already been beating up pretty badly in terms of price, so we'll see. But yeah, JMC is at seven to nine. Uh, 404 is six to seven. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of activity between six and seven, so I think I'll stay there for a while. And two by tunes, uh, you know, still dropping a little bit. Now it's down to. 58 or 60 to 67 because obviously Bitcoin the majors are going up so exotics usually go down So uh, we'll see how this goes, but people still want this crypto so as more money floods in you know Hopefully we'll see a nice little rebound in the meantime uh, compound coins at 5321 to 6300 satoshis of a uh, dog coin. So it's still pretty strong and stable All right, let's see if we got anything hopefully good for Bitcoin um all right, so everyone's uh, in awe of Bitcoin's price boom. Obviously, you and I are not because we already been waiting for this for a long time. Trader Beauty, imminent sell off. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I don't really see anything here. It's just usual stuff. Uh, KFC is testing a blockchain. I might be interested in reading about that. Plus, I like KFC and chicken. Well, the KFC in my neighborhood really sucks for some reason. The one near my parents' place was really good. The U.S. law against us trying to utilize blockchain to provide economic relief. Okay, let's read that. All right, we actually have a lot of shit to read today. So I'm not even going to read the coronavirus stuff because we kind of already talked about it already. Uh, Trump's doing... Yeah, the usual. <clears throat> Binance hits record. No, I don't care. They're accumulating Ethereum, probably because it's cheaper. Uh, now it's predict surge, but no. So as the time will come to get the U.S. fiscal house in order, but not now. So basically, they're going burr on their money printer. Uh, spur token economy and Nasdaq, very good. Bitcoin bank giant Silvergate announces quarter one earnings transaction. Yeah, of course. All right, I am curious to read about this KFC stuff. Plus, that would be a very good thumbnail picture. All right, so first things first, let's take a look. What is Elon Musk doing? <clears throat> oh, okay. All right, so uh, test, So at least Elon Musk is doing the right thing and criticizing, and he's right. This is a fascistic, tyrannical stay-at-home order, right? He knows it's bullshit. We all know it's bullshit, all right? We have the facts. We have the data. Everything's secure, so I'll start reopening this shit, all right? You know, uh, like fucking asshole Fauci even wants to shut everything down until like next year. Like, what the fuck? You know, I'm, I'm hoping he's probably changed his mind about it. Obviously, I'm not going to read this thing, but I want to see what are the idiots here saying? Uh, are they fair? People have multiple kinds of a the population is horrible, but they're saying that are not appropriate. To okay, so this guy, oh, yeah, I have to sign in. So he's got a, so so see we still have a lot of dumbass retards that still want more shutdown. It should be known that it's about guaranteeing public is hundred germ free. Did he did he? Uh, exactly. Not. The thing to do is a lot of people who don't feel safe should not go to reopening businesses. Business should have a clear safety plan. Blah blah blah. Yeah. When anyone presents an opinion, the most important thing to look at is motive. Yes. All right. So most people do seem to be upvoting the reasonable upvotes. No return, Patriot, complain about country, I never serve, I don't get over with action for me, I'm not sure, I know, I never should do it, he's pretty, yeah. A lot of people are downloading that too. Well, see, this is the problem too, a lot of people actually support the shutdown. Now, when I did my personal poll on Twitter, um, I had a lot of people actually supporting the, uh, reopening the country, so, I don't know. But, I mean, it's, this is Yahoo Finance comments, so you got a bunch of retards. All right, so everything's pretty good. All right, so for the most part, we still have so the reopened America is still more or less in uh, in control here. All right. Actually, I want to read that last. Uh, U.S. lawmakers ask Congress to utilize blockchain to provide. Uh, you know, uh, Steve Mnuchin, uh, uh, eleven legislators led by Darren Soto, a Democrat from Florida, pointed out the potential use of using blockchain to speed everything up. Yeah, I mean. Relatively fast. I got my coronavirus stimulus uh, today, so um, but blockchain would have been a lot faster. 
But really, obviously, the motive is to get everybody on the blockchain so we can like start making permanent amounts of money going burr with our own little money machines. So the call can have a black blockchain congress. Uh, DLT is the most secure. It is. I guess when I moved to Florida, I guess this guy is somebody. Actually, was no, I don't think this was the guy that followed me and then unfollowed me on Twitter because he didn't even have he didn't have the uh, thing. Let me see. Oh, I would know his face though. Yeah, it's definitely not the same guy. Yeah, completely different person. He what does he represent? Um, I don't know. What's Ninth District? All right. Uh, blah 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 blah. Da, 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 da. So does Kagura still? The later says after the later says already. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> well, there's not actually much here because I just want to read the KFC article to be honest. Uh, also, are you getting hungry just looking at this picture? Uh, let's not be your place current. I say you're actually doing pie programs to Boba. Okay, so it's actually not that much. He's just, um, I mean, it's good, right? There's people more pushing for more Bitcoin crypto. That's all that matters. Where you actually do it or not doesn't actually matter. Because we know they're not going to do, uh, the government won't do anything. Obviously, it's the government. It's going to take a while. But what matters is you start the process of basically advocating for it. So then, you know, two, five, ten years later, we'll actually seriously consider it and actually look into how will we implement it? <clears throat> All right, so uh, KFC is ch testing blockchain to do advertising, to what? So KFC to improve transparency in the world of advertising. KFC Middle East will use a blockchain solution to track ad campaigns that verify the delivery ads and increase the cost of visibility and eliminate fraud. Huh, uh, okay. Of generating a great tamper proof data how its advertising network is performing. This is weird. I'm not sure why you would need something like that, but all right. Today markers get the original source of the data. The okay, today markers must go must get to the original source of the data. The consumer blockchain tech ensures that they get first hand info from the target audience themselves. Uh, okay, this is the second time I came to Israel blockchain tech. KFC Canada in 2018 sold the Bitcoin bucket that could be bought with Bitcoin through the crypto payment form BitPay. Mm, that sounds pretty tasty. That sounds very tasty. All right, let's open that. Uh, and that was a very short article, but works for me because there was a lot of crap we had to go through. And quite frankly, I want to do other stuff. Uh, actually, I want to think more about the blockchain, uh, everything storebook, figure out how I'm going to modify my plans. And I'll probably get ready to actually buy the tower defense module in the Unity Asset Store. Uh, I don't know if I'll work on it today, but I'll definitely work on it sometime, either tomorrow or this weekend for sure. Um, so I, need, I really just sit down and think. Plus, I kind of want to read the uh, the storybook, uh, John Truby, that I bought before I started reading the Everything Store. So I kind of want to start working on my uh, story uh, for my game too. So I don't know, a lot of cool stuff to do. And to be honest, I really prefer working on creative matters. And of course, playing video games, but Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, every uh, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash uh, JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page, so we can continue uh, growing this channel. Uh, so obviously, I'm uh, done for the day. Uh, tomorrow's Friday, so it'll probably be the last video of the week, unless of course something significant happens. Um, I, but for the most part, I don't see anything changing too much. <clears throat> so with that being said, uh, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Enjoy the bull run. Uh, if you want to buy something, you know, I guess now is basically your last chance, right? Uh, I mean, things could go down more if you want to wait, but I mean, at this point, like you've been watching me for a while, so you should already have all your stuff bought already. So, you know, um, I mean, I don't know what, I mean, I guess unless you want to add more Rebel shares, uh, there's really not much more you can buy. Or I guess maybe uh, Litecoin, uh, Litecoins too. That's pretty cheap. Uh, but you, can, you probably, you probably will not go wrong with these others like Ethereum or whatever. I know a lot of people like to buy this shit. I personally do not because A, I don't like supporting censorship crypto. That's a really big problem. Because uh, again, Steam shut out blocktrades.us. You're not supposed to be able to shut anybody out of their money, but they were able to do it. So that's not that's not decentralized at all. Right? It, it's the complete opposite of what a crypto should be. Right? 
even if I own all the Bitcoin like coin in the world, I can't shut anybody out of it, right? People will still just mine it. <laughs> it's spend it. There's nothing I can do, right? Um, actually, it makes me more of a target because now everyone's just going to spam the addresses so I can't access it. So, yeah. Uh, so Ethereum, I'm not really sure about, but essentially I'm just going to have to just copy Ethereum or Tron or Steam or Hive Power or whatever and just create our own little fork and then we'll all just use that. I might also remove the function to lock people out of their accounts though and just put in something else for anti-spam. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so anyway, but yeah, we have the solutions. So anyway, uh, during the day or night, I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Enjoy the bull run. Uh, though today's a dip, right? So, so far from the way it looks, it's just a small dip uh, with the exception of maybe the stock market, but who cares? Um, cryptocurrency is what matters. So, uh, and yeah, I mean, this dip was supposed to happen anyway. Like, Dow literally was just going up every single day. In fact, I can't remember a day where it did go down the past couple, like the past eight trading business days, right? So, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks. See you all tomorrow. Yeah. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. Uh, we covered a whole lot of crap today, but uh, yeah, well, we'll repeat it. Don't worry. So uh, yeah, see, don't you? I really want to eat KFC, but I don't even know if the ones open in my neighborhood because of you know the shutdown. <laughs>